first of all, let me apologise for the cacophony of sounds. I don't know why, but the washing machine's making a lot of noise, tumble dryer, and my laser printer is currently calibrating uncontrollably for the last 10 minutes. Anyway, um, I have been trying to 3D print something. Uh, model details down below that I found on Thingiverse, something where you put a Raspberry Pi in. And of course, you can see I'm having an awful lot of trouble because my filament is mega strong. So I'm not going to be working on that project, which kind of sucks because I think this is a really cool Raspberry Pi case. So again, links down below. If ever anybody wants to have a go at printing it, you might be more successful. I have to do more calibration because I'm getting furries happening. So instead of going through that and assembling that rather cool thing, um, I'm going to open this because this just arrived and I've no idea what it is. It's from Key Studio and it has my name and address information on there. So I'm going to try to open it rather surreptitiously from the wrong side. And I'm not quite sure what Key Studio does, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of uh, companies with Key in their name, uh, PCBs and whatnot, and that's the kind of a gearish ladybug. Do I see the gear stuff on things? I always think that means FOSS, you know, free open source, but what do I know? I think I can get in. A couple of cuts off camera, I do apologise. So hopefully you're all well. Um, I certainly am. It's been uh, an interesting and very productive time for me. So I'd like to continue the productivity <laughs> with whatever this is. Right, let's get rid of the packaging. Interesting. Oh, hang on a, hang on a minute. I do know what these is. They are unexpected because I completely forgot I ordered them. So I ordered them off AliExpress. <laughs> wow, ages ago, absolute ages ago. Um, maybe two weeks, maybe more. So if you recall in a previous video that's uh, probably two or three down in the list down there, go check them out if you haven't, about the air quality sensor, um, <laughs> this is uh, a cheaper air quality sensor. So uh, those air quality sensors with the PM uh, 2.5 were running around, I think, $30, yeah, the minimum, right? They're a good quality, they had a fan in them. Whereas these do not. Now I did dismantle uh, off camera one of those and I can describe to you what I saw while I open this one because I don't think this one has nearly the same complexity in it. But for six pounds, if it works, yeah, it could be um, a winner, 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 chicken dinner because uh, it's really cheap. And if you recall the design that I, I used uh, in the previous project, I actually enclosed it inside a power supply enclosure which had its own fan. So it could actually already draw the uh, airs and part air, air. the air the air, the humors and particulates through through itself so if this was actually in line there it would be drawing it through what i can only assume is a, a sensor aperture here but anyway let's crack into it so when i did open up the other one it did have a series of channels and a fan and the idea of that was that the fan drew the air down past literal like a laser pointer laser it was exactly the same as a laser pointer laser that was shining on some sort of CCD I didn't have a good look at the CCD side of it whether or not it was a you know something like a CCD like you find on the bottom of your mouse or if it was just a photo diode but either way it was definitely drawing it past a uh, optical gate and that was obviously doing the uh, sensing using some sort of, I'm gonna say AI, but we'll just talk some sort of heuristic measurement of the particles, and then that gave you a serial output. And that's pretty much what this does. Um, it says ground, VCC, LED, and out. I'm not really sure on the format of the outfit, studio, uh, studio, serial, or I squared C, but that's, that's really, we'll figure out that once we try to use it. So look, I'm not sure. I'm going to be able to get too far in there. So there's the PCB there, and it's got a little bit of uh, tuning and a, a micro of some description that's doing the working out. And I'm hoping... So in here, there may well be a laser sh shooting across. There's a little bit of a gauze. So I can definitely puff. I feel I can blow through that, but not too much. It's a very fine, fine gauze. So this is a piece... This is actually a printed circuit board. And look, how is it actually... It's just glued on, I think. So really, there shouldn't be any, the connectors here, so there really shouldn't be any connections on this side. So if we can work our way around, we probably can just pop this out. So I'm just gonna do it by my fingernail to start with before we start wedging stuff in, just in case, because it was really quite fine mechanism on the other one. 
in fact you can see it's just starting to to lift there let's keep going with that yes it is working so yeah this isn't a sponsored bit by the way <laughs> i did buy these but i thought wow at a bargain for like 12 dollars for two ah oh, look at that that is phenomenal phenomenal look we can actually get to see how that works i'm going to zoom in so you can have a better look there so you actually have a laser uh, sorry a photo uh, um, an led and a photo diode so it's actually an led on this one and you can see it's got a, a little magnifying lens there and another lens there in fact yeah one's a concave one's a convex let's see how that's positioned so the actual which is the transmitter i think this is the transmitter here and it look, might well be because it's on the simple side you can see there's a little transistor that probably just turns it on and off and that's it just getting thrown straight out and the one that we think of the receiver is actually going to this chip which is marked s125 sorry 126104a5 and there's an adjustment there maybe this is just a trigger output I don't know if this might not be a digital output at all it might just be a trigger output um, so if it's transmitting from here look what's going it's weird it's it's sort of shining through oh okay so so what what <laughs> I wonder if if this thing is only picking up reflected light of particles so imagine you've got a light imagine a very bright torch shining into the night you know and you see when you shine it into the night and you see the beam and if it's a foggy night you you glow more of the uh, um, particles that are lie in that beam so I'm guessing what's happening here this is doing exactly that and once it's making a, a, a brighter glow because there's more in this chamber like smoke for example then the receiver will see that because the uh, the mean average uh, brightness in this chamber will increase and then that will go up and then look it's almost I'm guessing it's almost hoping it's going to diffuse naturally because unless you've got a fan on this it's going to be a very passive passive thing so I think um, it would be neat to kind of just get it running. So we're ready to go. I've got a whole bunch of stuff set up here. I've got the multimeter that's connected to this, but I'm actually using the second one over there for the I.O. just because it wasn't flopping around on the desk. I've got a fan that's sucking that way. And there is something we have to do first, and that's remove this because this isn't some sort of a super duper membrane it's just the bottom of the sticky adhesive that they stick the module to this pcb with so get rid of that that you can ream that out nicely so now we have a hole and you can see on the voltmeter we're reading oh it's jumping around but a few millivolts here and there so i'm going to position that up like that so it's supposed to read half a volt per 0.1 milligram per meter cubed of, of particles and by the way that uh, chip we saw on there is a sharp gp2y 1014au apparently so live and learn so i'm just going to put some smoky schmuck through it and look at that it's definitely going up i mean i know a lot of it's getting sucked around that unit and of course that will be not only will it be sucking it through the unit which is what we want but it'll actually be of course clearing the unit too of smoke unless we give it a constant so let's try again it's quite tenacious isn't it, these fans you can see it's getting really sucked over the top i must just need to not have the fan in circuit at all oh there you go but you saw you can see the reading going up look at that and then if we use the fan, it should clear it out pretty quickly. <laughs> so you probably have to be quite careful with how you're going to mount this in your enclosure. But yeah, it clearly works. And if you've got an Arduino, you'll be able to not only read that quite easily, but you'll be able to control it. You can turn it on and off because there is a... Um, LED this one here this LED you'd actually have that on the digital output line and you could set it high to turn on this uh, LED in here or turn it off and I guess if you turn it off you might be able to calibrate it because you could turn it off see what the measure is through the analog to digital converters because then that would be like your baseline 
and then turn on the laser. So yeah, you can play with the, sorry, LED <laughs> laser. So that's about it, really. I mean, do we need another another project with an air, air sensor? I don't know. But you can see there, it definitely reacts. You probably do want to really focus on what kind of fan you want and how you're going to mount it, though, if you are going to have a fan or need a fan to draw it into your unit. I mean, if you have this mounted, say, somewhere like this where it's passive, that could work quite well. And in fact, you can see it working well because it's... Uh, let's clear it. <sighs> okay. Let it settle down. So I'm going to try to set up a little rig here. Let's put that up there, a bit of solder there. So you can see it's reading under 10, 7... Yes, that's the way to do it. Yep, and that would be fine. Turn on your fans, clear your bench, and off you go. So I hope that's of some use to you. If you want one, go on eBay or wherever they, they exist. <laughs> Build your contraptions out of it. But that is, of course, the Key Studio PM 2.5 particle sense. Ow, 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 hot.